this week is Children's Hospital Week, and that includes Baylor Scott and White Children's McLean's Children's Hospital. They are saving the lives of thousands of children a year, and in this week's Your Best Life, we meet a respiratory therapist who was born extremely premature over 30 years ago and now dedicates her life to helping the smallest of babies. 34 years ago, Tammy Lewis was just like these tiny babies inside the NICU at Baylor Scott and White in Temple. I was born very small. I was born at 24 weeks and normal gestation is 40 weeks, so that was three and a half months early. A micro preemie, Tammy was born weighing just one pound, four ounces. Her parents were told her chance of survival was extremely low. So they gave her a quick rundown of about a five to maybe 10% um, best case survival rate. But Tammy proved those numbers wrong. After about three months, she left the NICU right before her actual due date. Lots of prayer, lots of work by a lot of people here to get me where I am today. I'm very blessed. All these years later, she's back working as a respiratory therapist, helping save lives just like hers. I knew this was the place I wanted to be. I knew that I wanted to work with children and not just children, but NICU patients. Not many people can say that you can go back to work at a place you were born and care for the same type of patients that you were and be able to give back that way. What's even more incredible, several of the doctors, nurses, and respiratory therapists who cared for Tammy still worked here when she started her career. So to be able to, you know, grow up and be an adult and get a job and have a career and then be able to work alongside the people who care for you it was a truly humbling experience. Now she hopes that by being here, she also gives her patients' parents a little hope. To see a success story um, right there alongside you, you know, day in and day out, working with your child, working with you as a family, um, getting to know them and showing them there is some hope, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. And I, that's, I hope that I can give, give them a little bit of hope. And here at Channel 6, we are proud supporters of Children's Hospital Week, and you can show your support as well just with a Band-Aid. Super easy. Snap a selfie wearing a bandage and then hashtag the picture Children's Hospital Week. We'll be showing some of those photos later on this week. We've got our Band-Aids on right now. Mine's moving. Did you notice? It's falling off. <laughs> yeah, it was a little bit from the chin to the cheek and <laughs> everything else. Great cause. Good story. Thanks. Wasn't she inspiring? Oh, my goodness. And we both got the chance to meet her a couple of weeks yeah. ago when we toured the NICU. She was so little, even, she was you know, so tiny. just as a baby, so little. All right.